Hello everyone, this is Grant Friedman, and today I am reviewing the new features of Photoshop CS5 for Brush Easy. And right now we're going to examine the new brushes um, with Photoshop CS5. And um, to get started here, I am just going to uh, select the brush palette here. And um, as you can see, the brush palette looks a little bit different here. Um, you have some new settings in here with some of the new brushes that come with um, Photoshop CS5. Um, but you also have this preset um, palette here as well. Um, now, as you can see here, we've got several new types of brushes here. And anyway, you can see we have a, a um, round uh, brush with a pointed tip. We've got a flat brush, we have a round brush, we have an angled brush, we have a um, fan brush. And each of these um, brushes behaves in a different way. And to get started here, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select one of our brushes here. And I'm going to adjust the size a little bit, just a little bit bigger here. As you can see, we've got this uh, strange looking brush here on the canvas here. And we'll just move this out of the way real quick. And I'm just going to make a quick swipe here. We're just going to see what happens here. And there you go. And this is um, this is an example of one of the brushes of what one of the brushes looks like in Photoshop CS5. And so we're gonna we're just gonna keep kind of going through here and just kind of keep showing you the different brushes here and how they work. And as you can see, each brush has different properties. It looks a little bit different. Um, and this is something that would have been a little bit difficult to do using CS4 or any of the other versions of Photoshop. Um, now if you what you you know there was a chance that you could create your own custom brush that looked like an actual real paintbrush, but it wouldn't quite be the same thing. Um, and so you know these brushes are, are, are pretty nice. And what you can do here is you have different settings here. So you know I can adjust the number of bristles and you see I'm adjusting them, it, um, it shows in the preview, and just the length um, and the thickness. And one other thing to keep in mind too is you have, I'm sure you probably noticed in the top left hand corner there's that little um, bristle preview up there. Um, and that is going to demonstrate how this brush is, is actually um, interacting with the canvas. And so as I'm painting you can see it's changing different way 